G'day mates, how are you legends doing? And people call me the Barbado. And I'm joined with my co-host, Low Power. Power. Hello there. Oh. And this is Two Lads on Deck Chairs. Let's get it. another episode of Two Lads on Deck Chairs. Um, Today we're reviewing hot sauces. Um, if you ever watched the Barbado Tonight, um, the the first time I ever joined the Barbado on a live, on a little podcast series such as this, was actually testing hot sauces. Um, but this time there's a little bit of a twist, I feel. There's a little bit of a, a different yeah. We've got chicken wings this time, instead yeah. of the stupid nuggets. Yeah, so instead of having a big nugget with absolutely no sauce, because the last time, I will admit, I was terrified. I didn't want to eat it because I was really nervous mm. about eating them because I can't handle spice. But then last time, I was even wearing a jumper and I was still okay. Now, I've come prepared. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing a t- I'm wearing a, a t-shirt and I'm wearing slides because I'm going to have to let the dogs out to, uh, oh. to let, them, let them breathe while yes. I sweat my ass off today. Um, we also got a different variety of sauces. I don't think we had this on the first time we tried this. Mm. But as setting up to this new show, we thought we would go back to history and review these hot sauces. Yes, which should be fun. Now, to start us off, we don't know, I don't think, I'm not a big hot sauce eater because I can't handle hot sauce. Do you eat hot sauce very often? I try to put it in my diet every now and then. I'm trying to adapt Is myself. Reason? Is it why? I don't know. I just want to be good with hot sauces that I don't panic and freak out about it. So I, I try to push myself. So yeah. anytime there's a hot option, I always pick it. That's 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 good, I guess, in the sense that, you know, you're, you're pushing yourself, but, you know, in like, cause my mind, I don't eat hot sauce, right? I sit there, if someone goes like, oh, this is a hot meal, I go like, oh, okay, I'd probably rather something else, but I will eat hot meals if I need to eat hot meals. But with these new sauces, we thought, we don't actually know in terms of how spicy each one is. So we're gonna start with telling you what all of them are and we're going to rank them in terms of what we think are the spiciest just by color and look yep and then we'll taste them and then see if we were right yes uh, we should be good but to start with uh, the first one we've got fountain hot chili sauce should be good um personally because it, just because it's fountain i reckon it will be the least spicy. mediocre uh, well not mediocre in the t- it'd be i'm hoping it's a good sauce <laughs> But I have a feeling it will be the least spicy. Alright, and um, then the next one we've got is the Sriracha Hot Sauce Thai Yil. I, Tiao Hu. I, Tiao Hu. I, that's very Anyway, that's, we that's haven't heard it. I haven't seen it before. I'm so scared. Um, this one. I hate this it. One, I don't like its colour. It's a bit watery. Yeah. I think the rule of thumb with hot sauces is the thicker the hotter. The thicker the hotter. That's my theory. Okay, well, because that that would make this one then Frank's, which is this this. Yeah, this one here, so I've had those. I've had that one before, and it's not that bad. Okay, I'd this... say that that one's actually my favorite to go to. Oh well, for now I'm excited to but try this then. The I think special. This is pretty hot, so I don't know. I think it might be hotter than this one. Yeah. Well, if we're saying this, if if this is one of the Barbados favorites and it's very watery as well, I reckon then you reckon it's at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna say it's at the bottom. Um, uh-huh. just for now. And this is the order we're going to try them in as well. And yes. as, as we go through, we will reorder them. Yeah. Um, which should be good. Uh, then there's... Did you pull up the bullseye? No, that's your turn. We've got this. We've got the bullseye Kentucky-style ha- habanero mm. with whiskey. With whiskey. whiskey. Oh, we get which, drunk. Which is going to be hectic. Contains no more than 2% alcohol by volume, which means that it is alcoholic. Because to be non-alcoholic in Australia, it has to be less than zero point five percent. So, so this is alcoholic. Do you need a ride home. I, I'll be <laughs> able. No, I'll be able to drive home. Uh, it's not gonna. I don't know if you can get drunk off of hot sauce. Hot sauce with habanero chili and whiskey. For those in search of firepower, fruity habanero chili Actually, cooked up with a dash of whiskey packs the heat. I reckon that's gonna be tasty. You reckon this is? Let's have a look. We didn't actually look at prices. Too. We did not look at it. They're all roughly like the between same. five and eight dollars. This is all from Woolies, by the way. Yeah. Which, if you watched out. last week's episode, Woolies do the worst pies, so, but they've got a decent range of hot sauces. Hot sauces. So. All right. So, where do you think that one's going to be? Um, out of the ones we've all looked so far, I reckon it's going to be Ooh. the hottest. I still don't like the color of this, though. I still don't like the color, but I Next. think I think they're all going to kill me. We have the peri peri nando sauce, 
Jarakin's going to be a killer. You reckon it's going to be... I'm looking at it. Spicy? It's pretty thick. It looks thick. And but like, I, it says it's peri-peri though, so I want it to be nice. So I like peri-peri chicken. But peri is usually pretty spicy. And on their scale, it says hot. It's not extra hot. It's, it's just hot. hot. It's not extra mild, mild, or medium. That's oh. their scale. Oh, uh, you put it where you, you think it goes. I think this one's going to be hotter. Yep. I'm pretty happy with that scale. Alright, and then the final one is fuck me, that's hot. Fuck me, mate. Um, I have had a taste of it, and it's can assure it is pretty hot. It is pretty hot. Well, I'm not excited at all. Um, and in terms of how we might rank them, we've got three beverages to help cool us down, uh, which is going to be our the Barbado and the low power scale. Mm -hmm. I don't know the the two lads on deck chairs scale, scale of spice. Unique um, scale. Unique scale of spice. Do you need water? to help the spice, do you need milk, or according to the Barbado we have a little, you know, herbal coke, coke. apparently coke's helpful. I We're... learned it from film theory. Film theory, film apparently theory. Apparently they, they tested all, it's actually food theory. Yep, Correct. film, food theory, it's all the same. Yeah, anyway, the theorist, Yes. Um, he tested all their thing and one of them was diet coke for his branding and apparently really? it was one of the better ones. Interesting. So, is no is Coke no sugar the same as Diet Coke, though? We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> it's helpful. Um, but, we do have plenty of wings. And tell us about these wings that you've cooked up, Connor. So, um, I got these from my local butcher, and they only had in marinated chilli wings. So, that's going to be our bulk standard of... So, if these sauces make it kind of less weak and more bearable mm. than the base wing, yeah. then it's... Sucks. No, but sucks. It, it's not it improves spice. it or makes it pretty spicy. Then yeah. it's and I actually don't think that they're that spicy. They're just tasty. Yeah. To be fair, I when I was pulling them out of the microwave earlier, um, the sauce it was it, there was a bit of tang to it, but it did actually taste pretty good. But obviously that might change depending. Shall on we have a taste? Should we get little things for our fingers? Yep. And I also need a glass. So quick cut. We're back. Yes, we are back. Right. We can cut through a whole bunch of that um, if we need to. Cheers. But, smells spicy. It should be good. A good first little wing. Oh yeah, and there's a bin down there. Just in case for spews, accidental diarrhea, wings. <laughs> I've just shit myself. <laughs> How do you think, Pat? Honestly, Connor, you've outdone yourself, mate. That's a tasty wing. Mm. Spicy though. So they're actually spicy to you. Well, I think they just, there is a, there is a slight tang, tang to them. <laughs> um, it's not unbearable by any means. Like I could very easily work my way through yeah. a majority of these wings, I think. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's start us off with a glass of water. A glass of water. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, so yeah, not unbearable by any means. However, again, I'm not a big spice eater, so find out how good this is. Uh, cheers, cheers, I guess. Little first cup of water. So that's our... That's the base. That's the standard. That's, that is that is the gold standard. Let me, let me put that down, that down there and that one up there. All right. All right. So, any topics of the week? Any news of your life? Huge chick chat? Huge news actually this week. So I am very, very fortunate to have hit 50 followers this week. So obviously... Woo! <laughs> thank yeah! You. Yeah, mate. So obviously this is going to come out in a week from now, a week from the time that we're recording this, mm. but as of yesterday, or maybe the day before, um, I was streaming some Anno 1800, uh, which is a great city builder game, one of the best city builders that I think exists, um, yeah. and I hit 50, uh, which is huge, a huge milestone for any small Twitch streamer, I feel. Uh, I don't know mm. what the like the numbers are in terms of um, how many people... How, like how many followers you need to have before you reach a top percentile? Uh, um, I think they judged it off viewerships. Don't quote me, but I think it was like the top one percent have more than a hundred viewers. Wow, it's a low number of viewers. Yeah, but that's like one of the but top. But follower count would be high though. Yeah, follower count would be different because yeah. viewers is concurrent viewers is every yeah it's, it's every day they're coming in. Yeah, which is crazy. So I'm currently, my next goal uh, as, a, as a Twitch streamer is to achieve 
three concurrent viewers per stream for a month. And if I can manage that, then I will be bumped up to affiliate. And that means that anything that I earn from that, uh, Bubba and I were actually chatting about this while we were chopping for hot sauces, um, where we're probably, we're going to work together. Um, yes. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The five cents that I earn from ad revenue mm -hmm. will go towards things the like next this. Hot sauce. The next hot sauce. The next hot sauce. The next meat pie. Yeah. So if you want to cure low power's depression, just give him a view on his Twitch channel. Yes, and low power. Thing, he'll be cured. I will be cured. Honestly, probably would be. Like, <laughs> I think that would be pretty sick. That would be great. Cheaper, cheaper than therapy. Man is speaking to a camera. Indeed. Um, we need much therapy. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I love milk. Um, I don't know why I said that. Uh, shall we? Get Start. into the baseline. Yeah, baseline. No, um, Frank's hot sauce. Frank's hot sauce. Um, I don't know how this is necessarily going to work, but... Just dab it on there. Just dab it on. I'm going off of Connor's um, units of measurement here. Yes. Thank you, sir. Enough to make you cry. Oh. <sighs> There's this familiar taste. <laughs> Fell off the bone. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've definitely tasted that hot sauce before. Mm, it is quite common. Domino's use it for their wings. It's good though. Like, it's tasty. I thought, again, I said this in the last one, I thought I was going to die a lot quicker, but I often surprise myself with how uh, resilient my taste buds can be. Mm. Um, I think just on the drive home, my stomach might not be having a great time. Yes. But, so your level of me? spice, are you afraid no, of that, that sauce? No, that is a water. That is a, that le a water. water level spice. Um, is it worse than the base wing? Um, no, I don't think so. I think that's on par. I don't think it added, to be, it added a different flavor of spice, mm. but it wasn't any spicier. Yeah, so I it was on the same level. I think, yeah, same level spiciness, it was just a different flavor. So, water rank. Water rank. Um, yeah, Red Hot Original, Frank's Red Hot Original is, um... Water rank, water rank, uh, thing. Well, maybe we can have like a tier list mm. looking thing right now. Yes. Showcase it, but <clears throat> what's been happening with you, Pablo? What's been, uh, what's been, what's been the week's news? Oh, pretty average, you know, week, but mm -hmm. I've been working as an arborist and uh, getting my climbs up. Chopping down. I did 32,000 steps on one day and then went to uni the next day. 32,000, is that like up, walking up and down trees? What's the, what's the play? Where, walking around, do? dragging branches, Chippering, grinding. What is chippering? You know, what does that mean? Putting branches in the chipper, oh, turning them into mulch. And I was just saying, that's like as a as a as a kid, I feel like you know, it'd be so satisfying. You know those satisfying videos of you watch things getting crushed. I feel like that's putting something in the chipper. It's just, yeah. It is. It's got the rollers and everything. Oh, now before nice. you guys complain, I'm not a logger. I don't do yeah. forest to forest or no. cut anything native. We're just urban trees specialists. So if you have any problems with power lines or tree looking bodgy that's about to split, usually we do what's best for the tree or habitat it for animals. And he also destroys orangutans' habitats. <laughs> he is in fact a logger. He got back from a bunch of third world countries just a second ago. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's, caught me yeah, he's got his he's got his gas, he's got his shell. But yeah, no, that that's sick. So just just arborum. Yep. Just and arborum. then uni. Yep. Did you see the new viral clip of a uni professor mm. complaining about Jack, chat GBT? No, I did not. So, <clears throat> first weeks of uni, everything yep. start, happened. And the first assignment, the professor was getting so fed up of people, students because he caught 50% of them mm. using chat BDT, chat GBT, GBT for their yes. assignment. Yeah. So, 50%. So, he had a freak down. Someone filmed it. And he's like, I've caught you all. 50% of you have used it. And this next essay is going to be 50 pages long because of your use of GPT. Bro, if anyone asked me to write an essay that was 50 pages long, I'd be like, hey. That would just make me want to use it. I would, what I would do is not, not uh, to be fair, malicious compliance, I guess. Mm -hmm. I would make a 50 page essay, but I would make it about one of like the stupidest topics ever. And I would add a bunch of just Rich. like... Easter eggs everywhere. You know, I had two years in my final two years of school when I was doing IT. Um, in every single assignment I ever did, I added a Rick Roll. <laughs> Everything. So I would, I'd make a website and the website would have a link to it when you clicked a button that would take you to 
um, a page would just oh. Rick Astley doing his thing, or it would take you to the YouTube link. And I always made it so that if I took you to a page of the website, of my own website mm. that had the Rick Roll happening, you couldn't, there wasn't a button to go back, you had to completely refresh the page oh. um, to make it happen. And I even went so far as I Rick Rolled him in an essay. Oh. So I had to write an IT essay, which is strange enough. That's strange. Strange being enough, with coding it? and stuff. And yeah, stuff usually, English. but we had to write some kind of essay. I can't remember what it was on, but um, we had it and I wrote all of my paragraphs and put a line gap in between them. And when I was done with the essay, I flipped it upside down and in tiny little writing in between each paragraph went, never going to give you up, never going to let you down. And I, handed, and I handed that in and I got it back. And the, when the teacher gave it back to me, he just looked at me and was like, Pat, how do you do it, man? How do you do it? Like, how, how does, how does how this do you happen? How Rick Roll? Um, Rick Rolled in every single assignment I ever did. And that was one of, that was the most fun. I did you ever get downgraded for it? Oh, no. Oh. I was creative, man. I was creative. Every time I did it differently. I, didn't, I never did the same thing twice. Well, I remember um, one of our students wrote their name wrong on their test and got a mark taken off for it. It was English, so English. Oh, fair yeah. enough. But, fair play, fair play. But still, a bit grim. He was missing a letter. I feel Are you like serious. That, was yeah. it you? No, it was <laughs> another person named Connor. <laughs> oh, no, I see. That's <laughs> tough. That's grim. I'm sorry. That's my heart goes out to you. Uh, my heart goes out to you, Connor. All right, shall we try the next hot sauce? Yes. I'm feeling very refreshed right so now. So that one. It's mostly used for a curry, I feel like. Yeah. It's not it's a you it's, think. It's a water level curry, man. <laughs> um, but, hold on. Oh. Got to get the teeth out. Get, get well, the gnashes. I feel like that should be the dogs. Oh. How are toes dogs? I feel like... Oh, I feed dogs. Yeah, yeah what, what, do you, what do you feel about the, the do are the dogs out? Uh, well, I got to go out. I don't know. Do you I, like feet? No, not particularly. Why I not? don't look at them. Why not? Often. Why don't you look at feet? <laughs> Come on. I, I understand know. what I'm saying is very sus right now, but like, you know, <laughs> you should look at feet more often, man. I don't know. You're missing out. I don't respect shoes. I like funky socks, though. You don't respect shoes? No. Uh, I feel like they're pointless to spend lots of money on. Well, okay. To be Okay, I get that. It's pointless to spend a lot of money on shoes. I think That's what I mean by respecting. Like, I'd rather pay $20 for a normal pair of shoes. How many suits do you have, Connor? Five? Oh, what? Yeah. That's cash money. I know, right? Bro, that makes me wonder where do I Five spend all my money? I have a black one. I have one from Italy. I have a silver that, one. That definitely sounds like. Is that on the drama? Yeah, the, the drama, drama trip. trip. This guy went this on a, a two a, week. How long was it? Two, two weeks. Week drama trip. A two week trip and he came back with an Italian suit. <clears throat> what a, right, what a Barbado thing to do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's actually a funny story. Um, so I didn't. I didn't end up going, so the first few days of the trip, I had no money. And we're, we started in Milan, which is the fashion capital. That and is all, true. All I wanted to do was like, I was thinking, like, if you buy a suit from the fashion capital, yeah. that's like that's high, right. high that tier. Is, that, is, that is its thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I had no money. My parents forgot, like, I was, I don't know, how old? The year 10? Yeah, it would have been 16. Yeah, 15, 16. 16. 16, 17, yeah, yeah. roughly. So my parents were gonna send me money for this trip. Yeah. They forgot to, so I was waiting. <laughs> I, I had to like ask for friends for money. And then it was our last day in Milan, the yeah. fashion capital, as I mentioned before. Yeah. But I finally got my money. Yep. And on the way out, there was a suit store nearby. And I, yep. I said, guys, I gotta get it. I've got to get it. I've got to go it's, shop. It's happening. It's happening. So one of our teachers, uh, Mr. Golding, was yep. my tailor of that day. Oh, he would be good. <laughs> he was good. No, he did pick up. He knows, group. this guy knows his stuff. I did drama shows with, with him and he, he gave me the best looking three-piece yeah. suit I've ever had in my life. It's made me want to get a three-piece suit. So he chose the suit I was about to acquire. Wow. And I've still got it to this day. Wow. I've got a pin from the show we went to and everything. That's so sick. That's actually mad. So remember the formal? Yeah. Our year 10 formal? Oh, celebration wasn't yeah. even formal. We all left early. Gra graduation. Yeah. So I arrived in the silver suit, mm -hmm. and I thought it'd be funny if I changed suits. <laughs> you brought a second one. <laughs> it's like my party suit, and then my formal suit. So I thought it'd be funny if halfway through I changed. I wish I noticed, man. I had no idea. Yeah, I so wish if I you noticed. have a look at my photos. Yeah, it's just I, I, On the stage, I'm yeah. wearing a different suit from all the other photos of the ground floor. Could like, you pull up? 
Could we could oh. we pull up photos and just I'll put them on the? I'll try, but they're pretty old. But they're pretty old. Yeah, we'll have to crop them, but hopefully we can get some old barber dough because that'd be funny as hell. Um, that'd be great. Um, but did you get the sauce open? I did get this sauce open, so we're looking at fountain hot chili sauce for this one. And I had a I had a whiff, and it act, it, it smells good. Um, yeah, that smells like you know, hot <laughs> curry. Yeah, it smells like something that we should add to a. Uh, You've made these wings really well, Connor. They do come off the bone very yeah. nicely. Oh, now that's not very hot. I'm only drinking water to flush it down. I know you people probably call cat, but I'm not suffering from it. That's hot. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not suffering, but like it's hot, man. Yeah, like, it had a first kick. The initial hit was like a. Holy oh, this, shit! This could gonna... be bad, but you know, it's died down real fast. It did. I like that. I like that. I think for me, that's what chili should be. It should be initial punch and then go away. Yeah. <laughs> and then disappear. Not linger. Yeah, the lingering spice is what kills you. That's what this one does. I've had a taste of this one and it does linger for a bit. We should just keep this rolling for like five minutes afterwards. <laughs> after you finish, feel? just to be like, bro, I'm dying right now. All right, so there's been recent drama. Recent this is drama. our recent drama section. That's not very recent. What's recent but drama? So, Phase Glam has gone under yeah. attack. This oh, is, have you heard of the... He's got a 360 no scope, people. Get him out of the way. <laughs> have you heard of the eSport scene? Well, what? I know... Oh, obviously, I know of the eSport scene. Mm. Um, but I don't know enough about it to comment on anything. So, apparently, it's the biggest waste of money you could ever put into. Well, oh, I do remember you telling me that. I do remember, It's a big drain. It's a big drain. Because, basically, you have to pay a team salary. And you have to pay yep. coaches. And you have to pay flights to get them everywhere. I can't believe there's the coaches for these. Players. Yeah, that is weird to me. And even a salary is weird. Like, what yeah. you're paying, you're getting paid every day just to play you're video getting, games. You're getting, no, you're getting paid every day to coach people how to play video yeah, games. Yeah, that's weird. But that I'm saying, right. I'm saying the actual player is getting yeah. a salary. That's yeah. a bit weird. I feel like you should. Really? Yeah. I feel like even if you had half a salary. Mm. Uh, well, what's, a, what's a streamer then? Yeah, a streamer, you're getting. Paid to do advertising, oh, but a player is getting paid to train for getting, a sport. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, you know what? I do get that. Maybe they're paid per appearance. Type yeah, of thing. but even then, they still need to survive. They that's need true. to practice. You so need that's why it's draining. And the biggest difference, like yeah. normal sports, NBA, yeah. and all that, they yeah. still get advertising. But the yeah. biggest difference is you can't sell tickets with esports. Because mm. it's a free, it's stream Free to air, it's a stream type thing. So, in that sense, the people that make the money is the person that streams the event itself. Yes, so that's what the Switch is. Some are content creators yeah. driven. So that means people stream the, their event or yeah. they make content around it. Yeah. Or sometimes the players are content people. Yeah. But the recent drama is, with, like I said, with Faceplant. Yeah. Um, one of their members has gone out against them. He's been yeah. a member for 12 years. Oh, here we go. And his contract is like the one Fousey had, which was a long time ago. But the, the, or Fousey they, too. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry, I might have gotten that wrong. Anyway, yeah. it's an 80-20 split. So they take 80% of your revenue oh. you make as a content creator and give you 20%, but they give you... Like, they say they're giving you advertisements and sponsorships. What? That's their contract. 80-20 split. 80-20 split towards Face Clan against the player. That's mental. That is mental. And that's how they're making their money. Or trying to stay afloat. Yeah, it's kind of like... It means that you really need to love the business that you're working with. If you are invested in the business, then that's how you get people to well, stick with it. The problem with FaZe is they've gone yeah. public. Yeah. So they sold out years ago, what they to call the suits, for yeah. like people, to investors. Yeah. But they don't know how to make money in the scene. Some say merch, do you? But they've paid a lot into it. Like they've yeah. got Snoop Dogg listed as a FaZe mm -hmm. member. Wow. But he's done nothing for it. Yeah. So they're wasting money. But just having him there. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Phase, man, what the hell? That used to be like the coolest thing. Yeah. I didn't even know what you were, but I knew you existed. Like, so their the name has recognition, but they yeah. don't make money off it. But there's really. nothing off it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, I suppose it's one of those things, if you have clout, you need to know how to use it. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. 
So that's like the big drama at the moment. One of them speaking against it. But yeah. So that's what, 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 what do you reckon is going to happen? Like, so I've been following a little. I follow yeah. Moist, Moist Critical. Moist Critical. Yeah, nice. So he's, water, by the way. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. um, he started his own eSport business. I, that's, that's the thing that I remember you yes, telling me about. Yes, so I've had a look at it and he's very transparent with it. He pretty much tells you what's going on. Yep. And he, he very says like he's, the reason he does it was for the watch parties. Mm -hmm. So he hosts the stream where his players are playing. Yeah, right. And he doesn't do an 80, I think it's a 50-50 split, yeah. but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, all the, like when they win a prize, when the players win a prize, usually it has to go to the business, not the players. Not the player. And then but the business can give it to... They keep it. They keep it. Well, yeah. I assume that they'd usually keep it, but it's like a good business would be like, hey, congratulations, you won the prize. That's what they normally do, but yeah. Moist Esport does that. They yeah. give the players their winnings. Their winnings, yeah. Yeah, but they he speaks highly of how it's just a pool of if you want to burn money, that's the best that's way. That's the best it. way to do it. Okay, good to know. So if we ever if we ever become billionaires, <laughs> we invest in esports. We're investing in esports <laughs> and we're gonna lose a crap and that's, ton of money. And that's why we won't be billionaires. And that's why that's exactly why we won't be net billionaires. We single handedly will be hoisting up the esports community and <laughs> it will just be dragging us down like uh, tooth and nail. But with that, I reckon it's time for our, our next source. Our next source. Uh, would you like to open that one up and pour us pour us a thing? Is there a is there a, a lid? I think on it's it? just a nozzle. Is it just a nozzle? Alright, let me Which get a wing do you want? Pick you your poison. Let me get oh hold on. Let me pick it up so you can I think there's a thing on it. Alright. See the man. Always got to check. Always got to check Always for the cat. Always got to check. And here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a little. Uh, there's a little cover there. So any topics, news, media? Um, media, media wise. Yeah. What TV. Time? What have you watched recently? Oh. Oh God. What What have I watched? Lots of anime. I'll be honest. I'll out myself as a bit of a weeb. Um, Nerd. I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um. But there was a film uh, that I saw, I saw an ad for it, and it's, the whole budget for the film was like 200 bucks or something, <laughs> something stupid like that. But all of the comments about it were saying that, I think it's called like Who Killed Captain Adam or something like that, Who Killed Captain Something. Um, and it's, it's made by a bunch of guys in, in Africa. And I saw the ad and it was just like, the ad's like, oh, action, action. Hey, they want more action. <laughs> um, and it just seems like such a such a, an interesting thing. And all of the comments were saying how good of a show it is. Are you all right? Yeah, it's Struggling? not cooperating. Give, no. me, give, me, give me your teeth. I am not a teeth guy. I am. Um, I've lost too many of those. Look, get the dogs out. Oh, shit. That's what I mean. That's where I was struggling at. Anyway, we got the boy open. Ah. Can I have a um, little finger thing? Yes, you may. <laughs> I don't want to eat any more of this than I need to. Because um, again, <laughs> this colour terrifies me. Um, what? Dark red. The colour of this sauce is very scary. What's your thoughts? That's got to be the weirdest way I've ever eaten. <laughs> a wing. That's my, my first thought. But that's a week for me. I was gonna say that that was so tolerable. The wing was worse than that, so I think that's worse than wing. Mm, this is less than a wing. That was just pure flavour. Yeah, there's no spice at all. It's the like there is the 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 ting of like okay, it is meant to be a spicy sauce, but even for me, man, you could have doused that thing. Yeah, and I wouldn't have tasted it. I I would have been fine. As a normal sauce where did, goes. Where did my thing go? Did you? Did I chuck it in there already? <laughs> Can you hand me just a, a bit, and I will not chuck it out straight after using it. <laughs> Maybe I'll chuck my my apologies. Um, I need to learn to. Thank you, sir. And we'll uh, wipe the face. Keep it clean. Watch the eyes. Get around the Watch eyes. the eyes. Watch the eyes. Mm. Um, <clears throat> in other media news, Ted mm. Lasso. Has oh, made its first episode. I am so so keen. I haven't watched it yet, but I loved the first two seasons of that show. Oh, that's good. That's I good. loved it. I loved it. I loved it too. Have you watched the first episode? Yes. Oh, how was it? Is it good? It is pretty good. I like I, where they're leading with it. So, because initially, because I mean, the thing about it, the, at the end of the second season, I think the villain 
like it came about very quickly. Are we I doing think a spoilers? Um, no, I, uh, we will try. Oh yeah, so yeah, spoiler warning. I guess. Yeah, spoiler alert. That way, it's more fun. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> um, yeah, I realize that we should may- maybe not do that, but. I'm not going to mention names. I'm not going to mention anything. Oh, so no. Nah, we I reckon we... Spo- spoiler alert. I feel like we can, go we can try and order. I'm just going to say plot. But, like... Right. I mean, you can, you can say names if you like. But, you know, the villain turns up very quickly. I feel kind of randomly. Like, they, yeah. they set it up. Eh, there's inklings, inklings, inklings. And then it's just, bang! This guy's an evil bloke. He's not good. And then all the... Because what did he do? He went to Man United? Is that what the... Yes. The other team is? Yes, he went to... The, I love it how Man United are... Yeah, the, the enemy. Team, the enemy <laughs> team. I think the, the whole world is going to be so happy with that. I know a lot of Man U fans, but... Um, mm. But yes. So, I'll just give a yep. sentence-wise yep. teaser of the next episode. Uh-huh. Uh, as long as it doesn't spoil the next episode for me. Um, so. It involves murder with kindness. I love that. I love it. Kill him with kindness. Yes. I'm a big fan. So, you know what I really liked uh, on that note is when they came up when they came out with a new FIFA game and the Greyhounds, the, the team that's in the, the mm, show, yeah. are in Are they? Are in FIFA. Oh, it made sick. me want to buy FIFA. Yeah, that so is. So that like you can play so that, Richmond. Yeah, players players Richmond Greyhounds <laughs> or whatever it is. Um get Jamie Tart and oh. all, the, all the other players. Oh that's Sam Obisanya and all that stuff. Yeah. I um I follow Dortmund. Uh, and Crystal Palace is my two main teams, and Dortmund released a video, and it was him and the the actor who plays Jamie Tart playing against each other in FIFA. <laughs> oh, that's um, awesome. And they were both. I think Dortmund won like three two or something. Oh like that. no! Um, I mean, it was it was cool though. It was just like what a what a clash of a clash of worlds. Yeah. How how cool is that? Um, so, um, season three will be the final mm. season. Really? Yes. They so have they're wrapping it up. Okay. As one three part story. Yep. Which I think they've set up for. I think that's fine. Yeah. I think three seasons is a good way to go out for a show. Um, what else? My favourite episode, yeah. so I reckon it that show has the best Christmas special. You know what? It might do, actually. I, I can't re- remember specifically what happened. Did it involve... Because it, obviously it had Ted. And did yeah. he have anything with his kid and everything as well? Uh, his kid was away, hmm. and so he had to spend Christmas by himself. By and himself. Then him and Rebecca went around giving gifts. Yeah, and that's all right. the players went to yeah. um, that dude's blanket yeah, his, his, his Christmas, house. Yeah, his Christmas like, house party, yeah. whatever. They, he but, invited them all over. If I ever want, have a Christmas, that's the thing. Go to. One of the go-tos I'll go to. Because I feel like for the that's mood nice. for it, yeah. it kind of really suits like a Christmas show. Yeah, it's a. I think, yeah, I, I'd agree. I think the feeling that I got from that show was good. Christmas episodes for those type of shows often I don't know what it is about them sometimes I just miss the mark yeah it just feels like an add-on yeah but with that it kind of feels earned yeah yeah with with most Christmas specials it feels like oh you've based the whole thing around Christmas there's a pretty obvious trope that's happening and like it's obvious that you just kind of needed a filler episode Mm. and you're going to use the topic of Christmas as a really easy springboard to bounce off of and it also fits that world too sometimes it just feels like oh Characters in Christmas. Yeah, all this one. Yeah, characters in Christmas. Feels genuine. Yeah, like it's they've worked their way through the season. It's now Christmas time. They're doing everything. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very excited. It's because what's it on? Apple TV. There you go. That's a sponsorship right there. Yeah, you could sponsor us, Ted Lasso. I did recommend the show to my teacher too. Oh, there you Out go. all the things Apple's done, I reckon that's yeah. It is their flagship now. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's one of the at the enemy em- Emmys. It won like four of them. Did it? Wow. Yeah, it well, did congratulations. Re- um, well yeah, done. It did really well at the Emmy. Far out. Mm. Well, if that's the case, I am keen to get back into it. I'm keen to watch it again. I have so many, like, shows that I am working my way through, and, like, I'm, I'm up to date on all of them, and I'm just waiting for them, because, like, one episode comes out every fortnight. Yeah, it's every week. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, well. Do you know, do they, do they say how many episodes are meant to be in it? Um, no. They just say... Next episode, next episode, and then when you get to the episode that doesn't have a next episode, you know, that's yeah. the final one. It's just the next one. But I think it's in 10 or 12. Yeah. Okay. Usual. They yeah, might do yeah. 13 as a final season. That's fair. That's fair. All right, shall we move on to uh, yes. our next source? So that one sucks. That one, I would say, yeah. not as good as the wing. These are better than the wing. Oh, I see. So that that's the that's wing. The so the, the little gap there is the wing hot, you know? 
Uh, yes. Let's have a look. So we've got Perry Perry. So I was dead wrong with the with the last one. It was mm -hmm. the the dark red color did scare me, but as it turns out, looks can be deceiving. Never judge. You know, you're a good book at these things. By its cover, that's just because I use my teeth. <laughs> that's the only reason why, um, because I give up every time. Um, what else has happened? Not much has been happening. I must say. Well, I mean, I'm um, wearing a shirt and outfit right yeah. now. Um, Do you want to talk about your m men's netball? Yeah, so as some of you may have noticed, I'm wearing a bit of a polo right now that has uh, a New South Wales thing on it. So I am incredibly grateful and incredibly lucky to have been given the opportunity to play men's netball for New South Wales at the upcoming um, 2023 men's and mixed netball uh, championships or nationals. Uh, which I'm incredibly excited for. They're in Perth this year. Mm -hmm. I've been training in Sydney every weekend. Mm -hmm. um, been working hard, been going for runs most days as well, trying to get fit. So I've worked off my holiday belly yeah, and everything. Holiday, the beer belly. Yeah, the beer belly that I had, um, which is which is super cool. And yeah, just wanted to wear this as a bit of a, uh, you know, if, if that's something that any anybody might be okay keen in, I'm sure there's going to be some form of, you know, oh, that was plastic. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be some way to live stream it, but yeah, I think with that, yeah, it's it's good fun. Um, good fun. I love it. We'll chat a bit more about it after I finish this. Uh, but let's have a look through here. So, do you want to get yourself a uh, a little wing? A wing. Get yourself a wing. There we go. Well, not for me then. Oh, oh my oh god! My I globbed it. I globbed it. Uh, I thought it was gonna be thicker than it was. Okay, so we're going off. The running is not spicy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> is that hot? Mm. I made a mess of that. Me too. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that goes up there. Really? Mm. Oh, it's lingering. It's hotter than the other ones. But I'm going to try hold off. I think it's also because I breathed in. And a chunk of like oh, coated spice. spice just slapped me in the back of the throat. <laughs> oh, it's definitely lingering. It's lingering. It's hanging about. Man, bro, we need to back ourselves. We can definitely handle more than this. Oh yeah. my god. It's still water level though. Like yeah, that's still I'm tempted for the milk, but I'm I'm. I just oh. like milk. Oh, he's so, got the spice burps. I got a spice burp. No spice girls though. So sad. <laughs> so sad. So sad. Oh man. But that's that's the first time I think I've actually wanted to drink water to combat spice. Mm. That's the first time I've actually wanted to do the other ones are like lower. So again, these are on the same level as the hot wings. This made it worse. Oh, don't worry about that. Um that may is the same level. That that's hot. Is actually hot. You know, that, that is genuinely hotter than... So the wind. only difference of our predictions was that one. So that far. One. So far. So far. We haven't had this bullseye one. <laughs> Alright, do you have any other topics of the week? So scared. Um, any any other topics for the week? Well, to to discuss... Oh, actually. No, I'm not going not gonna to discuss discuss this one anymore. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been a, I've like, said your piece. I've said my piece. Um, my mouth's on fire. I can't, <laughs> I can't talk right now, man. Should I ask you personal questions? Now? You can yeah. ask me pass. Yeah, you ask me personal questions. Go. <laughs> Give me. What's your best? What's your most? Actually, yeah. Um, what's your most personal question that you could ask someone? That I wanted to ask someone. You or? wanted to ask someone. Uh, no context allowed. I'm not allowed to ask for any context, no matter what it is. Are you sure about this proposal? Oh, is that who I think it is? I'm not allowed to ask questions, but brother. <laughs> oh my god! I hope that that picked that up. Um, oh, I didn't it's... say what type. Of proposal. That was spicier than the sauces just there. Uh, hot take. Um, very hot take. It's hot in my mouth. It's hot in my mouth. It's lingering, lingering. Oh, I didn't say what type of proposal. True, could have been a building proposal. <laughs> um, I could have been like, "Yeah, I want to, I want to propose a, a, an apartment block right here." And Connor's like, "Are you sure you about that proposal? Are you sure, mate? Are you sure?" Um, oh my god! All right, 
That's your question. That's a good one. What's yeah. my most personal question that, that I've ever asked someone that I've wanted to ask? Yes. Ooh. So you've kept to yourself. I've kept to myself, but I've wanted to ask. Um, probably, do you think that, um, oh God, uh, probably like, do you think that's the best way to parent your child? I don't have a kid, so I have no, oh. like, I have no leg to stand on in that, but that is a genuine, that's probably the most. So we haven't asked these questions. We've kept them, We've kept them to ourselves. ourselves. We, we, know, we, we know, know the bad. We know you don't ask people this. But, but these are ones we wanted. I've won. Oh, bro, you've We've been no on idea. the bridge of yeah. asking. Every them. week I get tested and I <laughs> almost ask that question. <laughs> That's probably a bit too much detail, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can edit that, <laughs> <out laughs> that bit. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the next source. Um, the bullseye, yada yada. Sucky. You, sh- you should be able to, you don't have to rip that off, just just twist. Give it a sniff. Can I have a sniff? It's good because my nose is slightly blocked, so this okay. might actually kill it Definitely smell up. the whiskey. Ooh. Oh, I feel like it needs a shake. It does need, I was about to say, I think this needs a shake. It needs a bit of a blub 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 blub, bit of a blub blub blub. I'm almost disappointed that none of them have required the use of milk yet. Um, or Coke. Or Coke. A um, scale is not really working. Yeah. It's yeah. like water or no water so far. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't need water. My my spice, ice spice. Alright, we only got two more sauces. Maybe we should have bought more. Maybe we should have bought more. <laughs> Alright. Um, give us uh Oh, okay. Is that yours? <gasps> what kind of... Bro, the colour is weird. That is... It is a strange... That is kids. Strange looking colour. That's color. kid food colour. Yeah, I feel like I've just given my kid a little banana thing. It's runny. You get is very runny, but kind of. Mm. See, for me, you know something is hot when I won't lick my fingers. Yes. When I'm done, because obviously with wings, right? They're they're messy. They're dirty. You get stuff all over your face and all over your fingers. If something is super spicy, I'm not gonna touch my fingers yeah. when I finish the thing. I don't that, like the taste of that. That I thought about it. I thought about washing my hands clean, but I was like, no, I can actually handle that. It still does. There's a lingering yeah. spice on the lips. It is spicier than the wings, but it is not Just, not spicier than the peri peri. No, at all. Um, I would even think the hot chili sauce foundation mm. is what worse than that. Really? Yeah. I thought this actually no, that had a bit of a like. It tasted all right though. Did it not? I didn't like the taste on that. That one, no, that this one had much more, much more lingering spice than that did though. I know, but like, it's not that hot. That one hurt you at the beginning, and then you nurtured it with ice. That one didn't hurt me at all. That's yeah. my argument towards it. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Well, we we disagree. So we'll scissors put paper it. rock. Okay. okay yeah. Scissors paper rock in this one. Scissors paper rock. Yeah, I win. Bullseye goes up there. There you go. Bullseye. You're disappointing. You're yeah. failed us. You were... I well, I wanted to be reeling in agony. We need to uh, do the hot ones challenge. That's where we get all their hot sauces. Yeah. Oh, we have to order them. We have to order them in? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Get excited for that episode. Yeah, get excited. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hot sauce round two. Um, let me get that one out of there, because I'm going to use that as my... my last final one. wing. As my final wing. All right. Any pressing mm. questions? Any Pre- urgent matters? Good. You can cut this part out um, while, while we think. Um, <clears throat> what what would you like to see in future episodes of this in future, show? In future episodes of this show? Um, we were discussing this actually. So I've got a couple. I've got a cheap and an expensive Japanese whiskey. Which I've I'm got excited. A, a cheap and expensive bourbon. So which I'm also excited. excited. Also excited. Um, we can, you know. S- sausage rolls. So, you want to do sausage rolls? Yeah. yeah. I reckon we could do the spill or... Spill your guts or fill your guts challenge. Spill or fill. That's where you get disgusting foods and you yep. ask them personal questions and they can either eat the food or answer the question. <sighs> <laughs> oh God. So you get like a chicken's foot and they have to have either a bite of it or they answer the deeply personal question. Okay. All right. Yeah, I reckon that'd be kind of fun. That would be fun. 
That would be interesting. I would be interested to see what kind of questions you could come up with. That's See, I'm curious because I would just want to know what you'd ask. Yeah. I could probably try stomach, I don't know, and chicken's foot or something strange like that. But yeah. like ants. Uh, well, we um, we have green ant gin. Like that, there's literally the people walk in and we sell these gins and they they yeah it's called green ant gin and people go in and they'll count. Some people count how many ants there are inside because yeah. they think the more ants are in there, the more infused it is with green ant. <laughs> And so I was like, this one's like, this one only has seven and this one has eight. So I'm buying this one. I'm like, you're good for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Another spice burp. Go me. Um, now, I'm scared, but we're going to rush through this. <laughs> I haven't fully recovered. My mouth still feels a little bit hot. But do you want some water? Or no, do you I, reckon, I reckon I'm going to have no water, so I'm going to have to panic. Pour something. Don't get it or whatever. I'd it's rather you just pour the milk now than pay. <laughs> no, I like it. Let's the laptop. This, this right here. Whatever the hell this is. Fuck me, it's hot. Fuck me, that's hot sauce. All right. Which, do we shake it up? Yep. Before we pour, yep. our last wing. We've got to have a personal question ready to go. A personal question. Yep. To, for, each, for each other? For each other. Oh, God. Um, oh, dear. Oh, God. Well, I've got one. I don't want to ask it, though. Um, oh god, I think I thought of a worse one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god, it oh, there's so, many, so much inside it. Uh, this is made in New Zealand, by the way. New Zealand? New Zealand, yeah. 100% gluten free, modern New Zealand. Great. Great. I Chinese. don't know where they got it, but it was in the house when we moved here. Well, they got it from New Zealand, obviously. Yes, um, I know that, but. Okay, <laughs> made of mine sent me a message randomly. She's currently in Europe. And she was like, Pat, you want to go to Snow Machine? And and I was like, yeah, what's Snow Machine? <laughs> Apparently there's some festival in New Zealand. And then she's like, oh my God, we should go. And I'm like, uh, how much is it? And then this package, like the cheapest package for just the five nights accommodation and the ticket is like 1.5K. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, hmm. You're finding a wing, is that your wing? Yep. Nice. Um, now I'm going to be honest. A part of me is thinking that we haven't dunked these in enough sauce. Oh, so you want to go all so out? I think for this final one, we go all out. Okay. All over Red Rover. Okay. I'm already salivating in anticipation, but that's not because I'm looking forward to it. It's because I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah. Um, but let me just... Oh my God. It bubbled as I opened. <laughs> it's bad. Are you sure you want to dunk these? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna. I don't even want to dump these. I'm gonna hurl my guts, but that's fine. At least we have a bin. It's all part of life, you know. <laughs> it's all part of life, man. It's all part of life. Um, what's my personal question? Um, I'm, I'm finding hard to think of one for you. You're trying to. You're, you're thinking hard. Yeah. Um, I could just go for the jug. Go for the jugular. Go for the. Go for the throat. Um. Oh. Uh. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not so much a personal question, but just, just as a question, if you could pick just a thing, just a random thing in the world, what is actually? Here's what's the most niche thing that you would love to do, and this has to be like genuinely niche. Um, I would like to do ice sculpting. Ice sculpting, and like have that be your yep, your yeah, thing. just really good at ice sculpting. That would be mad, actually. Because I'm already playing with chainsaws. Yeah. Like trying Maybe to you think. can chainsaw sculpt. Yeah. I feel like chainsaw sculpting is even more. But well, they use chainsaws for that, and then. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, because it's just it's a bit it's a team game. Yeah, it? you can do everything. You can do wood, yeah. ice. Yeah. God damn. So I want to do ice sculpting as my what? small niche. That was like cool. a surprise skill. Yeah, it's a su yeah a little like party trick. Yeah. Like, oh, what can you do? Well, anybody got a seven foot tall chunk of ice? <laughs> I'll make you if you'd like. Um, what about you? For me, oh, I don't know what my niche would be. This um, is a pretty weird niche. To have, I would say. A what? YouTube show. A YouTube show? You do sh YouTube on Thursdays. That's yeah. a pretty weird niche. I just do YouTube on Thursdays. No, I think... <laughs> I feel like a lot of people do random shit all the time. Um, I don't know. If I could pick any tiny little niche thing, I would be... Um, oh, gosh, I don't know. I would be... Oh, this is tough. Yeah. What would I be? I have to pick something niche. All right, let's um, get the wings ready so you, you hurry up. Um, oh, God. 
No, I do, mate. No. <laughs> I've, I've dunked it in. Um, here we go. So. Oh, no. Oh, there's so much. There's so much. I'm scared for you. Because <laughs> you don't handle spice well. I don't I'm handle, scared of this. I don't handle spice well. I'm going to move that out of the way so that I can get to the thing easier. Uh, my really niche thing would be I would have a lighthouse. I would be a lighthouse keeper on like the tip of like Scotland or like Ireland in one of those tiny little islands. I reckon I'd do that for the rest of my life. I'd be... I didn't expect it, but I could see it. Yeah, <laughs> just one of those strange little things. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, I've absolutely doused this, yeah. by the way. Here we go. Yep, there's a pain. Oh. oh, I'm on fire, bro. <laughs> oh, that's a milky. <laughs> that's a milky. Is that a okay. cookie? Yeah. Please, open. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's hot. Yeah, that's the brandy. Anyway, fuck me, that's hot. Ha! My tongue hurts. Oh, so ah. milk and coke. Ah. Ah. Uh. I'm literally on fire. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it get, goes away after a little When? Bit. When does it go away? <laughs> I'm genuine. Me, that's hot. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 That wind? Yeah, that wind. Oh. See, I was talking a huge game. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe more chicken will help. <laughs> maybe less spice. Crying. I'm literally tearing up, lad. The chicken wings are just so good. Oh. I need different spices to take over. I need to coat my mouth in something different. Oh, chicken wings are good, though. Apart from the tears that are in my eyes. <laughs> my nose feels so clear. I can breathe. <laughs> I can breathe through it. Well, um, I believe that this has been two lads on deck chairs. How long have we been going for? Probably long enough, but I'll see you mate the next one. Bye, Bye guys.